head. Good morning, everybody. Um, today we are headed to um, New River Bike Trail. We're going to go bike riding, so we're stopping right now at McDonald's to get some breakfast. So anyway, I'm going to let y'all come along with me today, and um, we're going to have a lot of fun. And uh, if you live in this area, maybe it'll you know give you an idea um, that this might be something that you want to do sometime. So we are just about um, eight minutes away from the um, New River Trail that we're going to go bike riding on, and that is in um, Freeze, Virginia, close to Galax. Um, you can also, we just passed probably two miles back the entrance to the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, the car up there is like doing some serious smoking. Um, I think it's about to break down. But it's like on the uh, not too far from Mount Airy. Um, I was just telling Caitlin about Mayberry Days that they have. I think it's in September at the Andy Griffith Show. Um, but anyway, so we're almost here. And once we get our bikes, um, I've got a bike, but I'm going to rent Caitlin one. So once we get our bike rental and get everything set up, I will. Um, show y'all how we set our bikes and everything up and the things that we carry and supplies and all that good stuff. But this is a beautiful day um, and we're going to have a nice uh, nice trip I think. So stay tuned. Alright so we are here. Um, you can see the if you can see the river on both sides or not but um, we're going to this little store here. It's a new river sides well, it says New River Store Deli. Side River Store Deli. Outdoor Adventures. That's what it is. New River Outdoor Adventures. So. There's just like a little deli attached to it. Yeah, so we're going to. Ooh, I see two pretty Jameis bikes. Mm -hmm. um, the bike that I have is a Hudson Jameis or Jameis Hudson. I don't know which one it is. Those are but really But they're nice leisure bikes. bikes. And oh my gosh, they're the best bikes ever. And I found out about them through this place because they had these. And that's what we rented the first time. She got one for Christmas. Okay, so we're here at the New River Adventure Park and I've got my bike set up. I'm gonna turn the camera around a minute and show you how I did it. And this is my um, little biking hat I have. <laughs> I don't even know where I got this thing yet, but it really keeps you, you know, the sun off of your face and shoulders and it's hot out here. So um, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you how I set up my bike and also um, the things that I put in my backpack. So anyway. Where do you want to put this? Uh, just, you can put it in my backpack. Okay, so what I did was I got um, one of these little baskets from the Dollar Tree, and I just used some zip ties um, to secure that onto the bike. Same thing with this little basket here. I just use zip ties to secure that. When I'm done, I'll just clip those off so that I can store it. I've got my water bottle in here. Um, I'm probably going to put my cell phone in here as well. And then um, with my backpack, I've got to carry all my stuff in. And I just put some snacks in there. I've got hand sanitizer. I also put some um, antibacterial wipes, you know, lip gloss, um, just things that I think that I might need. I also have a portable air pump for my tires because you don't want to be on a trail and end up with a flat tire. Okay, so we stopped for a minute just to take a break, but the river is behind me. Um, and I'll turn the camera around and show you some pictures. But basically on this bike trail, this trail, the whole entire way, um, the river, it, it runs beside of it. So you get to see this beautiful view the whole entire time you're on your uh, bike. Um, this particular trail that we take, I think it may be about five miles um, to where we cut, do our cut off and come back. But you, this trail goes on for miles and miles. And there actually is a map that um, you can find online. And if I can find it, I'll attach the link down below but um, it's just, it's a gorgeous day. Most of this trail is in the woods, or not woods, but I mean, it's like a wooded area. So it's like shaded. Um, in addition to that, the majority of the trail is a flat surface. On the way back, there's a slight incline, but the, the only reason why you notice it is because you're biking. Um, as far as visually, you don't even see it. Um, so this is a, just a great leisurely bike trail to be on. And I wanted, I had my little tripod that um, you can wrap around your, um, bike handlebars and I was going to put my mount my phone on it so that I could uh, actually show y'all some footage of me riding my bike um, you know on 
both, both maybe toward me and away from me, but I left the attachment at home that you that actually holds your phone. So I wasn't able to do that. And I just cannot ride a bike and hold a phone. So that just ain't gonna happen. So I'm just gonna, you know, stop periodically and I'll just do some recording of some of the scenery that we get to see while we're here. Um, but I say this whole bike trip is probably gonna be a total of about three hours. And the place, the little store that rents the bike, rents it for $15 for four hours. So you don't even have to own a bike. I mean, and they have really nice bikes. Um, you know, it's just something to do on a nice day. It's great exercise. And even though I'm having issues with my knees, um, riding this bike does not bother my knees. And I think it's because my knees kind of stay in a bent position versus being straight and then bending. Um, yeah, my hands bother me a little bit, but um, I made it up, so I should be all right, at least until we get back. But anyway, um, I'll, like I said, I'm gonna show you some, some scenery pictures, so I hope you enjoy. <sighs> I've got a bug on me, sorry about that. <laughs> what are the benefits of being out in the trees and the outdoors? <laughs> this is a little campground area that we stopped at, and we always talk about how we wanna come back here and camp, um, just because it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm on like the little hill, right now you just kind of take this down you know to where the picture the area is that you can camp at it does not have electricity so you would have to bring like lanterns and stuff like that and i'll show you as i get go down a little bit closer what it does have but it has um you know at the top it's got the little trash can and it's got the little outhouses now i don't like these little outhouses but those are actually fairly clean um so they do take care of those here um every once in a while there'll be a um, park ranger ride through here and I think they do charge like $15 per night to stay at one of these places. So, yeah, we always say we're gonna do it and we never do. This is one of the camp areas. Um, I think that little post here, you can hang like your lanterns and stuff like that on it. You got your picnic tables, um, your little fire pit here, and this is right by the river. I mean, now as far as in the summertime, I don't know how well that would be um, as far as like mosquitoes and bugs and stuff like that um, and I'm sure at night it probably gets a lot cooler because you are next to water um, the only thing I worry about is having some wildlife come up on me because <laughs> this isn't like a traditional um, campground where there's a lot of other campers and stuff like that and you know park ranger goes to bed I'm sure and he's gonna come back out tomorrow she's gonna come back out till morning time so anyway and up there is the trail you can see our bikes and everything up on the top of the hill. So, I mean, this is just a gorgeous place. 